Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving deep into South African politics where the winds of change are blowing stronger than ever. Could this be the end of the ANC's three decade long dominance? Let's find out. For years, the African National Congress or ANC has been at the forefront of South African politics, guiding the nation through post-apartheid challenges and triumphs. But recent events suggest a major shift may be on the horizon. With the upcoming elections, all eyes are on former President Jacob Zuma and the newly endorsed MK party. Jacob Zuma, a figure both controversial and charismatic, has made a surprising comeback. Despite his history of legal troubles and scandals, Zuma's grassroots approach has kept his base fiercely loyal. And now, with the MK party, he's tapping into a well of dissatisfaction among many voters. The MK Party, short for Umkanto Wasizwe, carries a name steeped in history, being the former military wing of the ANC. This new party is rapidly gaining traction, especially in KwaZulu-Natal. It promises to revisit the constitution to better serve the black majority, addressing long-standing issues like corruption, unemployment, and poor service delivery. What's fascinating is the broad appeal Zuma still commands. The MK Party's rise is not just a testament to his enduring popularity, but also a clear signal of the public's frustration with the current state of affairs. Many see Zuma not just as a political leader, but as a spiritual guide, a beacon of hope against the struggles of crime, corruption, and economic stagnation. Political analysts argue that while the MK Party's impact might be limited outside KZN due to its strong ethnic nationalist undertones, its presence is enough to shake the foundations of the ANC's rule. This is a critical moment. The ANC finds itself at a crossroads, battling internal scandals and a declining public trust. The question now is, will this election spell the end of the ANC's long-standing rule, or will it manage to hold on to power amidst growing opposition? With each passing day, the battle lines are drawn sharper and the political landscape of South Africa is poised for potentially dramatic changes. As South Africans head to the polls, the stakes couldn't be higher. This isn't just about choosing leaders, it's about defining the future path of a nation. How will the people decide? Only time will tell. But one thing is certain, South African politics is never short of surprises. Pause. As we delve deeper into the emergence of the MK party, it's crucial to understand the historical backdrop that has shaped its ideology and appeal. Umkonto Wesizwe, meaning Spear of the Nation in Zulu, was established in 1961 as the armed wing of the African National Congress. Led by Nelson Mandela among others, it aimed to fight against apartheid through acts of sabotage and later, guerrilla warfare. This storied past resonates deeply with many South Africans today evoking a sense of pride and resistance. Now let's hear from Dr. Thule Ndlovu, a political analyst based in Johannesburg. In our exploration of the MK party's resurgence, it's essential to gauge the pulse of the nation. How do ordinary South Africans feel about this political shift? We took to the streets, social media, and analyzed news broadcasts to bring you a comprehensive view. On the bustling streets of Cape Town and Johannesburg, we hear a mix of hope and skepticism. One passerby mentions, it's about time we revisit the roots of our liberation, but can they address today's challenges? Social media platforms are abuzz too. Hashtags like hash MK party rise and hash new dawn say trend frequently, showcasing a significant online engagement. Meanwhile, news outlets provide a platform for heated debates, reflecting a nation divided, yet intrigued. This blend of public opinion and media portrayal shapes a complex narrative around the MK party, suggesting a critical juncture in South Africa's political discourse. As we delve into the potential future of South African politics with the MK party's increasing influence, let's explore what experts predict could happen if they gain significant power. We've consulted political analysts, economists, and sociologists to paint a picture of the possible scenarios. On the screen, you see a series of graphs and charts. The first graph shows projected economic trends, highlighting potential growth sectors influenced by MK Party's policies. Another chart displays potential shifts in social policies, including education and healthcare reforms that could reshape the societal landscape. Political experts suggest that a significant power shift could lead to restructured foreign relations and trade agreements. However, there's also caution about the challenges of radical reforms, with potential instability if not managed carefully. As we overlay these expert insights with animated scenarios, 
it becomes clear that the future of South Africa under MK Party's influence could be transformative, yet it requires careful navigation to ensure stability and prosperity. As we conclude this analysis, the question remains, will the MK Party's vision align with the aspirations of its people or will it diverge from public expectations? This critical juncture could indeed be a turning point in the nation's history. As the political landscape in South Africa heats up with the upcoming elections, the strategic maneuvers of Jacob Zuma's MK Party and Julius Malema's Economic Freedom Fighters, EFF, are crucial in their quest to challenge the ANC's long-standing dominance. Both parties, advocating for radical economic transformation and nationalization, have resonated deeply with a populace disillusioned by the ANC's perceived ineptitude in addressing inequality and poverty. On the screen, we display recent poll results. Here, the MK Party is projected to secure about 13% of the national vote, with a stronger showing of 25% in Zuma's stronghold of KwaZulu-Natal. Meanwhile, the EFF could emerge as a formidable force, potentially becoming the second largest party in parliament. This scene explores the potential for these parties to form coalitions. Political analysts suggest that while the MK party and EFF's individual power may not be sufficient to unseat the ANC outright, their combined influence could deny the ANC an outright majority, compelling a shift towards coalition governance. We analyze various coalition scenarios through animated flowcharts, showing how alliances could be formed and the impact of these coalitions on South Africa's policy direction. Amidst these developments, the ANC's attempts to prevent Zuma and the MK party from contesting the election on copyright grounds add another layer of tension. With threats of anarchy if excluded, the potential for political unrest looms, highlighting the critical nature of this electoral battle. As South Africans await the 2024 elections, the possibility of a significant political shift is palpable, setting the stage for a transformative period in the nation's governance. Will these strategic alliances pave the way for a new era, or will they ignite further division and instability? The stakes are unmistakably high as the country approaches a pivotal turning point. As the political landscape of South Africa braces for transformative changes, two prominent parties, the MK Party and the Economic Freedom Fighters, find common ground in their radical agendas. Both parties advocate fervently for the nationalization of crucial economic sectors, including the mining industry, banks, and even the South African Reserve Bank. This alignment in economic policy underscores a shared commitment to redistributing wealth and resources more equitably among South Africans. Furthermore, the contentious issue of land expropriation without compensation is a cornerstone in both parties' platforms aiming to address historical injustices and empower the disenfranchised black majority. On the screen, we highlight key points from each party's manifesto regarding land and nationalization. In addition to these economic measures, both parties propose robust state-led initiatives to combat the rampant unemployment plaguing the nation. Their energy policies also align with a focus on sustaining carbon-based and exploring nuclear energy sources reflecting a pragmatic approach to meeting the country's growing energy demands while considering global environmental impacts. As we delve deeper into these shared visions, the potential for a coalition becomes increasingly apparent. Such a coalition could significantly alter the political dynamics in South Africa, challenging the ANC's dominance and potentially setting a new course for the nation's future. Will this strategic alliance between the MK Party and EFF be the catalyst for the radical economic transformation they envision, or will it stir further divisions within an already polarized society? As the elections draw near, the anticipation builds, leaving South Africans and observers alike pondering the implications of these united forces.